here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we started the day with a little rain, ended up with just lots of clouds throughout the course of the day. Tomorrow, we'll end up with a lot of rain, so we've got a soggy Sunday ahead. Let's get a look at what's happening now. Live Doppler radar, most of the overnight will be dry. You can see there's not much in the way of shower activity nearby, but as we take a quick look off to our west, you can see all that rain gathering, even some thunderstorms across Virginia. Most of the heavy rain will slide off to our south, but we are looking at least a light to moderate rain and some drizzle throughout much of the day tomorrow. Threat tracker for tonight, Sunday and into Monday. Low chance of severe weather. This rain tomorrow is just more of a nuisance than anything. And rain has certainly been a nuisance as of late. Here's Providence right now. Cloudy skies, dry conditions, dry in Newport as well. Here's the Newport Bridge, 51 degrees with a wind light about three miles an hour. Satellite radar picture again showing the rain off to our south and west. It's all associated with this stuck frontal system off to our south. Now this area of low pressure is going to be working its way on off to the north and east very slowly over the next 36 hours or so. You can see that rain working in during the overnight. Now here we are 8 o'clock in the morning with our hour by hour forecast rain already overspreading the area. Notice most of the heavy rain slides off to our south, but we're still dealing with rain right into the afternoon. Showers and drizzle likely through the uh, afternoon and into the evening. Good news is most of this is gone by Monday. Right now, Monday is looking like a pretty good day. Forecast for your Sunday morning temperatures staying in the 50s with rain pretty much all morning in the afternoon. More of the same. We are expecting to see uh, rain and drizzle temperatures in the low to mid 50s across the area. 52 Narragansett, 55 Wickford, Central and Northern Rhode Island, mid to maybe upper 50s in West Warwick, Coventry, uh, Bristol about 56, Fall River 55, New Bedford about 55 degrees. Here's a seven day forecast. Now tomorrow we've got the uh, Quidnick Island Police Parade. We are looking at temperatures to be in the 50s there in Newport with a raw northeasterly wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour with rain throughout the entire duration of that parade. And when it's not really raining, it's just kind of drizzly and foggy there in Newport tomorrow. Now on Monday, hey, look at that. 67 degrees with sunshine in the afternoon. Looking pretty good on Monday with dry weather. Tuesday, I think for the most part, looks like a dry day. Most of the day looks perfect. But then during the evening, I think we are looking at the possibility for some showers uh, during the evening should be out of here for Wednesday. Wednesday looks like a, a dry day, 64 degrees with a blend of clouds and sunshine. Thursday looks OK, might get some more rain on Friday because, you know, we didn't really get much of that over the last 30 days. 57 on Friday, Saturday right now looks OK, 62 degrees with sunshine. Hey, this upcoming Monday afternoon, Eyewitness News presents Hurricane Watch, the path to mm. preparedness. It's an online special from 1 to 1.30 on our website, WPRI.com. Tony Petrocker and I will be live in Quonset Airport covering a hurricane awareness tour. Should be really interesting. Be yeah. sure to stay tuned. It's a, we're working with our sister station in Connecticut, WTNH, and we'll be uh, working together to bring you a lot of uh, cool information and a look at those planes. Mm. And hurricane season's what, June 1st? June 1st to November 30th, so okay. it's coming fast. Interesting. Less than yeah. a month away. Perfect timing for that special then. Yeah. Thanks. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 10, the Bruins win.